Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at some new remote pressure switches from Claris. Got the TR11, TR12. Two different models because they fit two different uh, lights or two different kinds of lights. So the TR11 is going to fit the XT1A, XT1C, XT2A. TR12 will fit the XT2C. We have all those lights, but I'm just going to pull out the 1C and the 2C just to show you the two different pressure switches, even though the functions and everything are the same. I managed to mangle this packaging every time I mess with these. I'm really good at that. So we'll go ahead and pull the pressure switch out. If you're not familiar with what these are, generally they're used on uh, rifles. So for weapon mounted lights, you can put these on there and uh, you can put the pressure pad closer to where your trigger is or closer to wherever your hand is, wherever you want to have easy access to the light instead of having it or just using the regular switch. So you also have some Velcro, you can use that to attach it to the light, attach the pressure pad, and then you have the instruction manual. Definitely worth a read. Uh, as always, the instruction manuals are always worth a read. The big thing for me is I find out about functions that I didn't know about. <laughs> so I'll have been using a flashlight for a while and I'll take a look at the manual and be like, oh cool, I had no idea it would do that. So definitely take a look at the manual. So that's the TR11. We'll go ahead and pull out the TR12 as well and I'll mangle the package for that one as well. Go ahead and pull these out. All right, so we have them by their respective lights. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tail cap off of the XT1C. Put the TR11 on it. All right, so I have the remote switches on both of the lights. I have it on the 1C and the 2C. And I said these are for weapon mounted applications. We've actually had people use these for a lot of different things. Uh, another common thing that people use these for is for bicycling. So you have the light mounted to your handlebar on a mount and then you can put the pressure pad wherever it is that you're gripping on the, on the handlebar. That way you can just squeeze a little bit harder and you're activating your light if you don't want to have it on constant on. And these you can actually instantly access strobe, which I'll show you in a little bit, which is another useful feature. So there are a lot of different applications for these, but generally people are using them when they're mounted to a rifle or shotgun or whatever. Um, if you hear any grunting in the background, if you're wondering what that is, that's my newborn daughter. It's not me uh, going crazy or trying to go to the bathroom or anything like that. <laughs> she might be though. All right, so the light, the uh, or the pressure switch, the interface on it, pretty similar to what you get with the light itself. So if you hit that main pad, you can see you get the momentary activation. Really sensitive, really easy to activate. Pretty much anywhere you press on there, you're going to get it to activate. And the secondary part of it, hit it, and you're going to go into the strobe. And if you press and hold it for long enough, when you release it, you're going to have constant on on the strobe. And then for the main pad, same thing. If you press and hold it long enough, once you release it, you're going to have constant on. And then that secondary little, the smaller button, hit that and you can get right into your strobe. So you can get into strobe from pretty much wherever you are. So just to show you a little bit better what I was talking about. So here's the main area of the pad and then here is that secondary. So this is what's activating your constant on. This is your strobe. And it's going to be the same thing for the XT2C or the TR12. You've got the main pad and the secondary. So those are the main functions of the pads. There's also some sort of hidden modes. If you have the constant on, so if you hold it down and you have it in the constant on, if you press and hold the switch, you can also cycle down to lower outputs. Generally not really used in weapon mounting applications, but if you ever happen to need it, maybe you're indoors and you don't need the max output, then uh, you do have that option. And if you are interested in seeing these on weapons, we're actually creating a new channel. It's going to be Going Gear Tactical, so you'll be able to see all that kind of stuff. So we'll keep all that as a separate channel where we deal with the, the weapons and all that fun stuff. So there you go. That's how you use these, uh, these pressure switches. If you're interested in seeing more information about the lights and how they perform outside, their interfaces and all that kind of stuff, we do have separate complete videos on those. So go check out our other videos if you want to see how these do outside and how they compare to some other lights. So that's the new TR11 and TR12 remote pressure switches from Claris. Really nice, really well made. First ones that I know of where you can instantly access strobe, which is pretty cool, and still have your constant on. As always, you can get these from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. 
And if you like the videos, be sure to subscribe. We put out a ton of videos. If you like flashlights, if you like tactical stuff, fire starting, outdoor kind of stuff, we do all that. Thanks for watching.